When it's just you, well, times can be tough. Dear Diary, this will be a long one. Sorry. I am at a loss for words. I honestly did not expect that I would have any more problems. Last night, while I was watching TV, I heard a noise come from the fish room. It sounded like styrofoam had possibly fallen over, so I didn't think anything of it. When I came out to the fish room a couple hours later to show my daughter the tank, we found the boulder's buoyancy was more than the bottom foam could hold and it was floating, sticking out of the tank. As a quick fix, I chose to just remove it from the tank and possibly put rocks and gravel in its place. A little disappointed, I went to bed. This morning, shortly after my wife had left for work, she called me, telling me her car was overheating. I left early to pick her up and take her to work. I then started early taking deliveries for Postmates. My first delivery brought me back only four blocks from the house, so I decided to stop by the house, have a cup of coffee, and use the restroom. I peeked out into the fish room, and all was good, so I returned to taking deliveries. Again, I got a delivery that brought me only a block away from the house. This time, however, it was the first stop of two. So, as I drove past, I looked down the alley where my driveway is, as I always do. The garage is on the back side of the house. There was water coming down the driveway. I went into panic mode turned around, pulled into the driveway, and ran inside. I was relieved, yes, relieved, to see that the tank had only just failed and had lost less than a quarter of its water. So I pulled out my trusty python, placed a net over the siphon so it didn't accidentally suck up Severum babies, put it in the tank, started it up, and ran to the truck to deliver that second delivery. On the way, I called my son Noah, and told him I needed him at the house now, that the tank was leaking again. When I arrived home, I was surprised to see both of my boys had come over, in separate vehicles no less, and they were in the process of removing plants and fish and putting them in my various other aquariums. This is the reason we should all have multiple tanks, not just because they can be a bit addictive. Anyways, after we finally caught everything and moved them to other tanks, I switched the python to the garden hose. It has a much higher pressure to create a better suction. You might ask, where do we go from here? How much more can this poor guy take? I will tell you this, not much more, and I am not all too completely positive as of right now where we are going, but either way, I will be bringing you along in my diary of a fish keeper. I just want to say thank you all so very much for being here for me. I truly appreciate it. Please be sure to hit that like button, share, and subscribe if you're not already. Just remember, guys and gals, we're feeding the addiction one tank at a time through education and inspiration. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye now.